Hello students. So we'll see one more numerical on mesh analysis in this video. The problem statement is find the value of current flowing through 10 ohm resistor. Okay, and 10 ohm resistor is over here. So you can see there are only two meshes. So I will assume the current as I1 in mesh 1 in clockwise manner and over here the current is I2. Okay. So we do not look at the polarity of the sources or direction of the current while marking this thing. So these two currents I assume. Can you apply KVL in mesh 1? Yes, we can apply KVL in mesh 1 because in that mesh we do not have any current source. But before applying KVL in mesh 1, you need to assign the sign for the voltages developed across the resistances. So these signs has been assigned. So I am starting at this point. So minus 10 times I1 minus 25 go ahead plus 15 minus 15 times i1 minus i2 and you have completed the loop is equal to 0 so minus 10 times i1 minus 25 plus 15 minus 15 times i1 plus 15 times i2 is equal to 0 now we will arrange the terms in such a manner that the coefficient of i1 turns out to be positive so this leads to 25 times I1 minus 15 times I2 is equal to minus 10. Okay. And this is my equation number 1. Now we have to apply KVL in mesh 2. So KVL. Oh, before that KVL. Can you apply KVL in mesh 2? No, because it contains a current source over here. So you can write from mesh 2. From mesh 2. Okay, now you have assumed current in clockwise manner. So through this branch, I2 is moving towards left, but they are saying that 5 ampere is moving towards right. So these two currents are in opposite direction. So I2 is nothing but minus 5 ampere. Okay, so here what I will have is 0 times I1 plus 1 time I2 is equal to minus 5. And this is my equation number 2. So there are two equations and two unknowns. Just I will write down in matrix format from equation number one. I will have 25 minus 15 I1 I2 and right hand side is minus 10. Here I will have 0, 1 and minus 5. Okay. Again this circuit contains current source. So this matrix won't be a symmetric matrix. And once you solve you will get I1 is equal to minus 3.4 ampere you can check this thing and i2 turns out to be minus 5 ampere the problem is not over they are saying find the current through 10 ohm resistor so current through 10 ohm resistor of course current through 10 ohm resistor is i1 and that means towards right so i will substitute the value of i1 so that is minus 3.4 ampere towards right this is nothing but a current through 10 ohm and finally i will write 3.4 ampere towards left. Thank you.